<sighs> Hello everyone and welcome back. Today let's play Victoria 2 as Prussia here in Napoleon's Legacy. I turned that up a little bit because I turned it down. Uh, Alright, yeah, let's get back to it. The Argentine Confederation goes bankrupt. Hmm. Ooh, Paraguay's a thing. Cores. Oh, I'm thinking that all these nations like Bolivia and stuff are maybe going to start popping up. Oh, Brazil has cores as well. Oh, so there is a separate country that can be released. Yeah, Bolivia's here. Wow, there's a lot of cores in here. Brazil or Reino Unido has a lot of shit to do, a lot of work to do to get uh, get their shit together. All right, let's get back to it. Building our okay. Kind of sucks that we had all that uh, all that goddamn infamy just thrown in our face. That was really unfortunate. Really, really unfortunate. I'm not a big fan of that. South Africa. Are they majority Boer? Looks like it. It's fun stuff. A nice nation. I remember my my Af my, I remember my uh, South Africa Natalia playthrough. That was a load of fun. What are we improving upon, anyways? No, got banned from Bavaria <laughs> and Saxa Coburg Gotha. Who banned us? Austria, really? Fucking Austria band is from Saxa Coburg Gotha? Or Gotha. I don't know how is the proper what's the proper way to pronounce that? Gotha or Gotha. Find out. Uh, maybe try to get Lipodet mold? Who knows? Maybe. Investment going in there. I only have an employment at Ostprussen, and we are building a factory there. That's great. Navy is almost there, absolutely getting destroyed by attrition because they're so very slow. And our technology is trash. Oh, what's this? Look at that mold. British Union is investing in them a little bit. Oh wow, uh, Austria has invested quite a bit in Bavaria. That's not nice. No, two can play at this game. Discouraged. All right, let's stop investing. Let's go back to the Lipa Death Mold. Use Polish. Use North German. Of course, I use German. Are you insane? What the hell? Oh, they say shells. Okay, that's cute. Wow, 19% attrition. My fucking god. No wonder our ships got destroyed by the time they reached there. Are even any of our ships going to survive this voyage? We're going to lose a lot of transport. Oh, come on. Oh, I hate this. I hate this so fucking much. I, I hate all of that. Everything about that uh, perturbs me. Hmm. I would 
like Austria not to have Hungary. That would be good. Maybe they'll call us into the war. That would be amazing. Or maybe not. Maybe that'll be the, my fucking demise. We'll see. I doubt they'll call us into the war, though. They rarely do. Oh, and they already... <laughs> they're already having a great time. are no reforms that people want to be passed. Now, they have a pretty big army. Good god, 34 brigades against our 42. Oh, we actually have more brigades than they do. A lot of them are fucking trapped, but... Ugh, I wish I had exiled my troops so I could just march them back home. Fucking British Union is an influencing Lipidetmold. Wow, that is a load of shit, is what that is. That is a crock of shit, and you know it. That is just a crock of shit, my friend. Uh, I don't think there's gonna be enough time for us to protect Hungary. <laughs> Oh boy, that's not good. Reino Unido, they were a great power. They're gonna fall back, assimilating Posen. Eh. No, I don't want to get more infamy. I want to cut down on my infamy. You know what? At this point, I might as well just disband this army. If, uh, mm, I don't want to do this because the majority of them are even... I won't be able to build them back up. Which would suck. That would really, really suck. Oh, hungry, 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 hungry. You're going to get fucked, aren't you? I can't intervene yet. North German crest, no. Are you still allied to France? Yes, unfortunately. Oh, God. That is the bane of my existence. They're holding up pretty well. Regardless. We might make it. Penal colonies. Prestige and militancy and non -col Oh, yes. Militancy and non-colonial. That's a great thing to have. I love it. Oh, baby. Okay. Uh, uh, we already have... St we can't get steam transports now. There's really no reason to get this. Get, the get out of here. Wow. It takes a lot of a... Königsberg got... Fall bow. Tension between our set of great powers erupted. Assert our position. Gain to infamy. Relation with Saxony minus 50. Gain to... We need to assert our position. Uh, if I declare war on Austria, though, I, I could probably win. Uh, because of the... No, because of our superior technology and because we have a better army overall. Six. We also have the Russians as an ally. So, there's that. We will be able to fight back. We will have... No, oh, no, we're not going to be going to war against the PRC because they're, uh, they can't go to war against their sphere leader. And they would, the Russians would definitely join on our side. 
I could really like to get Saxony out of their sphere. They'll be or Bavaria. I could usually as an excuse to get Bavaria out of their sphere, which would be amazing because Bavaria is a big state and it's hard to get them out of their sphere. And that would give us an excuse to declare war and destabilize Austria and wrench Hungary out of their their grubby grubby Habsburg hands. All right, let's do it. Enter a jesting, anti-Jacobin tract. Country mobilized. Country has been drafted left and right. The poor have been trained and prepared for that military full fresh. Recruits, troops are carrying out exercises in our borders in every aspect of society, and every signal the government gives seems to indicate that a war is in progress. But yet there is no war. The large disruption of the country's life is an angry our population and make our neighbors increasingly wary. Oof, that's not good. Ten percent war exhaustion. Can't do it. What? Wait, 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 wait what? Why, why the... I don't want to go to war with the Kingdom of Italy. What? Why the... Why the hell? I... I, I don't get it. This was over Saxony. Well, I would like to go to war regardless just to destabilize the Habsburgs. Mm -hmm. We are at 12 minutes, okay. Uh, let me think this. We're already, we're, we're already fucking penalized for mobilization, which sucks. Peacetime mobilization, wow. Cast a spell a negative 20%, loan, wow, that is terrible. Okay, uh, we have to declare war. Because we mobilized. I never got that modifier before, by the way. I actually never get that. I've mobilized in peacetime. Oh, now we can intervene. Well, we're at war. Oh, you are giving us access. Wait, are you? Oh, they are. Oh, good stuff. Uh, do you wanna? They will accept. Let's call. Them. Let's call them. I'll probably. Mm... Oh no, we're still the war leader. Great. Good. 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 Good stuff. All right. They didn't mobilize either. They are gonna start mobilizing because we are a big threat to their existence. <laughs> Please tell me we've got rid of that modifier. No. Oh, wow, that just sucks. 12th November, 1849. Only a year, though. That's okay. We're going to put the pressures on the Habsburgs. I want Hungary to be released. I don't want the Austrians to become a major power. <sighs> Ooh, oh, we don't have enough infamy room to add... Oh, we can't add a war go in this war, I forget, because this is supposed to be a status quo. Yeah, this is a status quo. So we are not going to be able to add any any war goals, unfortunately. However, everything else should be fine. Okay. Habsburgs go home. Carlsbad. <laughs> Funny how the culture I should really get commerce. Late classical theory is very good. End of the revolution, thank fuck. And we got an extra pursuit. We're number two in the world. Holy motherfuck. We this is amazing. Keep occupying them.
Whee. Keep up the pressure on these Habsburgs. Prague. Start taking back. Okay, good stuff. The, the the French did not join the war. And the Russians are coming. That's great. And they did mobilize, so they're not gonna fucking collapse or anything. Because <laughs> that can happen. Uh, mobilization is very bad for your economy. Not terribly good. Okay, and they're a satellite of Austria. That's not good. That is not good. Because I'm at war with Austria, and I want Austria to be destabilized. Mm. Okay. That, that's kind of frustrating, because... I had the more influence over... Well, yeah, it was sort of like half and half. Yeah, they are within their sphere of influence and everything. Status quo. Okay, we can peace out right now. I won't I won't pursue this war. They don't have cores on this, so they can't press for these gains, except for Eisenstadt. Which is great. Okay, what's our time like? We're at 17 minutes. Okay, that's good. Okay, this is a good outcome. I'm happy with this. Uh, see, I would ordinarily pursue this war further, so I could destabilize the Austrians so badly that they would be that we would be put the, make them a puppet or put them in our sphere. If this was a traditional Victoria Two game, however, this is not a traditional Victoria Two game. This is Napoleon's legacy. So, yeah, we are going to remain. We're going to let this as is. We're going to let Austria remain a great power. Despite the fact that they lost a huge part of their, their territory. But they're going to take in the Rheinbund. Oh, they're ready. Shit. And the Rheinbund is going to rise really fast. Because they have a lot of population. 4.09 population. Austria has 4.68. And these are all accepted populations, as opposed to Austria, which has a whole bunch of not accepted pop. So yeah, you can expect the Rheinbund to become a great power really fast. Don't doubt it. They surely don't doubt themselves, so why should you doubt them? Yeah, we're number two. Hooray. Uh, we should be worried, though. Because they're going to be climbing in power. They have a lot of industry already, and they're going to be having a lot of military because of the population. At least we have Hungary in our sphere. Hooray. I don't want to invest in them. However, to try to speed up, it's a little bit 19,000. Okay, we already influenced way too much. Pomerania. You want another factory there, Pomerania? What do you want? Wine? Or canned food? We always need canned food, don't we? Yes, we do. We're gonna have to keep a keep... keep... Close look. Gain three hundred dollars. Farmers in pose and gain eight million. Let's see. We're going to have to, to keep a very close look at the Rheinbund uh, to see how they develop. In my previous campaign, I did the. Oh, what's this? Jacobins. Oh, that's fine. I did my. I don't have access here, so I can't just go there and help them. They're gonna. 
the Hungarians are always getting fucked in the ass at the beginning of the game. R rather, right after they're released, so there's no surprise there. Oh, that's a lot of intellectuals in Posen. Don't need any more of that. Transports that won't probably will not get destroyed. Otto Nikolai, the comedic opera The Merry Wives of Windsor, based on Shakespeare's play of the same name, premiered in Berlin. It will become Nikolai's big success. Hooray! Oh, no longer number two. Shit. Clean coal would be good. Wait. 1860. Okay, we have plenty of time for that. A few days until our new transports. Hey, South Africa, do you want to give me a military access? No? Alright. Sad face. That code doesn't even make a dent in the uh, military power there. I guess we can lower military spending. 670% is sort of unnecessary. We have 3.19% intellectuals. It's great. Hungry. Oh, Denmark, Norway is a great power. Cool. Oh, they're number 10. That's not good. Oh, I told you this was going to happen. They're number seven in military already. Holy shit. Oh, that's not good. They're going to become a great power. It's going to happen. It's, it's, oh, it's, oh, 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 it's going to happen. All right. North German Confederation. We would need nationalism and imperialism, uh, which we can start getting. We should start getting. Oof. Shit. What we can do is go to war with these bastards. Try to puppet them if they become a great power, which is seeming very likely now. Otherwise, we're going to have to go to war against Austria and liberate puppet and get them in our sphere. Still number three in a... Oh, we made it! Fucking hooray, at last. Ryan Bond, not yet, we have to wait. Alright, these guys are fast enough to go home. Finally, I can get those troops back home. Oh god. 
That took a long time. Friendly. Wait, are we encouraging craftsmen there? Oh no, we're getting capitalists. I was with that. Wait a second, why the hell am I encouraging craftsmen in a place that has a lot of unemployment like that? Not the best idea. Not the brightest idea I've ever had. Look at that, they're almost back home. Hooray! Okay, we're banned, aren't we? Yep, we are. Oh, no surprise there. I know this is not the most exciting thing. We're up at 26 minutes. Okay. This is not the most exciting thing, but, uh, you know, uh, this is part of the game. Gotta do it. Keep doing that. Uh, I don't want to influence them more because that will raise their industrial score. They're already number 4 and number 11 worldwide. The only thing stopping them from becoming a great power is their shitty, shitty, shitty prestige. If their prestige went up, then oh boy, we're fucked. If there's some event that just climbs up their prestige, we are absolutely boned. Absolutely friggin' boned. To start reinforcing our borders even better. Build wall. Build wall 1851. Need to do that shit. Number 10. Oh, yeah, they're climbing. Oh, they are climbing. You'd best believe it. Craftsman and Prussian Silesia. Yeah, better stop that. They are climbing very fast. This doesn't make me happy. Oh wow, look at that. Why the sawmill? Why is it always the goddamn sawmill? I don't understand. It's profiting though. No oh, well, yeah, that'll probably get fixed as we increase our our efficiency. That is key. In Brandenburg, we are already. Uh, increasing size of factories. Yeah, of this one factory over here. We're already pretty much full. No, no, no. There's some places. There's still room. Yeah, there's still room. No, oh, dense. Probably the fact that we have such a high goddamn uh, tariff rate is something to do with that. Number 10. You're still stuck at number 10, which is great. Please stay at number 10. Don't go any higher. Stay stuck there, please. Oh, our relations with the Russians could be better. Oh, they got cores all over the place. If we get it, if you get to being the the NGF, however, we will gain cores there too, which is great. Uh, 
Posen, Prussian Silesia. Oh, we're gonna be able to get them out of the sphere. That's great. I hope that that means that I'll be able to form the NGF. I don't know how this works. I've never tried this. I never tried forming the NGF without beating the living shit out of the Rhinebund. Or Austria, for that matter. Uh, there we go. Move from sphere. There it is. It's out. Has been excised. All we have to do is get them in our sphere. <sighs> I don't know if this will work. I don't know if we're going to be able to form the NGF. Ugh, they lowered our stance, got bastards. Let's maximize our relations with the Rheinbund. There we go. Number 10. Oh, they're two, they're two places away from becoming a great power. That is very scary. Stay away from it, Austria. I fucking... I'm warning you, man. Oh, great. Culture. And I'm gonna get army decision-making because that's just the bomb. I'm gonna get them. I'm gonna get them banned before they do anything stupid. Let's uh, put some protection around our borders here. Alright, we're gonna be able to add the Rheinbund to our sphere. Oh my god, there are eight. Oh, please. <laughs> If I'm able to form the NGF with them being number 8, I'm going to shit myself. I am going to shit my pants if this happens, because that is not supposed to... That is, that is, that'll be against the rules. You can't, you're not supposed to be able to do that. Oh, I'm so disappointed. Fuck. I can't form the NGF. God damn it. Oh, I'm so disappointed. I'm gonna have to keep going to war against the Rheinbund. See, what's going to happen is, Rheinbund, the Rheinbund is going to become a great power, and after the Rheinbund becomes a great power, they're going to gain cores all over the place, and they're going to become really, really fucking powerful, which they already are. They already are pretty damn powerful. We have 4.23 million. They have more population than we do, actually. Oh, that's a lot of troops. Holy shit, they have a lot of troops. Almost your splendor, you bet. Okay, yeah, I, ooh, they have a lot of troops. Wow. 75 regiments. Holy shit. Yeah, that's scary. Eight. Number eight. They're gonna keep climbing. Oh, man. I, oh, I was so disappointed. I had a hope, a hope there that that would have worked. Because they are in our sphere. I guess because they're a great power, that that that's that's why that was stopped. Makes sense. They are a puppet, though. That's probably why. It's because they're they're a satellite. Oh my God! They're number seven. Wow, they are climbing fast. They already have more industrial score. They're number four. They're one behind us in industrial score. They're scary. Oh my god. That's super scary. I'm gonna become a great power or what?
Come on now. You you too can become a great power. I know I'm losing money, I can see that. The economy's in not doing very great. No, not the best. Capitalists for everyone. They're number seven. They're going to become a great power any day now. Any day now. Von Moltka, Moltka's reforms. Oh, I love this. This gives us such an edge when it comes to, uh, well, pretty much anything, actually. Let's get some extra tax efficiency, because that's a quick and easy way to solve our money problems. And we're ahead in all this stuff. We're at 36. Okay, I just want to sit here and wait until the uh, until the Rheinbund becomes a great power because they're going to do it. They already did it. They are number what seven now. Yeah, unfortunately, I'm going to have to start decreasing relations with them actually because, well, for obvious reasons. Yeah, they're going to be deposed. Oh, we have an alliance. Oh, I can't declare war on them for all this shit. I can't declare war on the Rheinbund, however, for war of unification, which is really weird because they have a whole bunch of shit that deserves to be taken. Wow, this again? We've gained so much prestige over these last few. Their military is growing really fast. They're only number. They're only 50 score though. Their score is lower than ours, despite the fact that they have a humongous amount of troops. Tech six. They're behind in tech. Maybe that's why. Or they don't fund their military as much as ours. That's probably why. There they are. Great power. They're allied with Austria though. Still allied with Austria. That won't last very long. Oh, they don't have... I have no claims here. Interesting. Okay, we're gonna leave this here and see what happens. I'm interested in knowing what's gonna happen, because this is gonna get interesting. Anyways, thank you for watching, as always. Have a great one.